whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. <laughs> Just a second. I have to talk to you guys. And I mean you guys, the listeners. I never expected this thing to get as popular as it did. My total gigabytes on Podomatic was reached for, you know, I had the free trial and only in a couple of weeks it was reached. At least 2,000 people had to listen to it for that to be reached. So my mind was blown. I, you know, paid for a membership. I'm a poor high schooler. I don't have the money, but I scrounged together enough money to uh, get a membership together. And I'm going to have to try to find nine bucks every month, I guess, to, to get it back up. But um, the craziest thing is people are actually reviewing this and I'm so thankful for you guys. Like, I can't even, I can't even put it into words. As somebody who is as passionate about Night Vale as the rest of you guys are, under the parody laws, I'm just kind of doing my own thing here. I'm not trying to break any rules, but if you think I am, I'm not because of the parody law prevention thing. Please, I, I would love if you support me. I have a Tumblr, nightvalehighpodcast.tumblr.com. That's it. Yeah. Right. It gives you something in the middle of all the Night Vale episodes, like even for your followers. It gives them something. They have something. You right. Know what I'm saying when the new Night Vale doesn't come out, there's something in the middle. Right. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say that for everyone who ever writes a fan fiction, I mean, just because they're not reading it out loud, it's apparently not copycatting, but now that I'm saying it out loud, I guess, that makes it copycatting, um, which I don't understand. But anyway, that's kind of where I just wanted to leave off. So without further ado, students. The year is split in half. The first quarter and the second quarter is worth 50 cents. And you will owe an expensive hospital bill to pay for some serious reconstruction surgery. Welcome, students. Welcome to Night Vale High School. Afternoon, the glow cloud, our school board president, fades hues of blue and green and plans to be red this evening for the walk home, as is seemingly constant schedule for this month. Ah, February. Red is the most appreciated in this month, and wretched pink is also used, but we don't talk about that color. The gym teachers are announcing a ban from the gym this week. It seems someone has scuffed the floor and it created a shape of a small duck or pigeon. The gym teachers believe we should treat it with respect and open a window waiting for it to fly away. Suggestions to those gym teachers? Maybe try to entice it with insurance claims or a rap battle. Those species react significantly to said stimulation. I know what you're thinking, students. Cecily, don't give out animal advice. What do you know of birds and their hobbies? Well, to that I say, don't sweat, my comrades. I, in fact, take great interest in animals and animal behavior. And if it wasn't for my passion of radio, I would gladly be here taking care of the animal life left in Night Vale. A few nights ago, Cecil, who I am not obsessed with, had a guest on his show, and I don't know about you listeners, but I get an awful feeling from that lady. I don't like her comments about Cecil or his voice, and it's totally unprofessional. I don't like to make enemies, so I won't, but I've certainly added her to my watch list. Future investigations about her shall ensue, so just in case something happens to me, Envy High, blame her. Well, like I said, it's February again, students. Yesterday was February, and next Saturday is also February. Regardless of its constant appearance, today is still February. And boy, what an exciting month it's gonna be. For you daily listeners, recently I had mentioned my disinterest in the Valentine's Day dance. But I'm not totally against it, I guess. This morning, Zoe had stopped by my locker to assure me she was going to the dance. She said, hey, I'm going to the dance. 
It really surprised me since it was like the first time she actually used her voice to speak to me. Her words fluttered into my left ear and I had to hold my bell collar because it was ringing too loud for me to speak and floated onto my right. But the bell is supposed to stop my public speaking, but uh, usually it just rings when I'm embarrassed. And though it's rather small, my mom's like, oh, it's necessary. And anyway, it just rang. I held it so it muffled and I just spoke over it. I told Zoe that dances are cool and all, but they're really not my thing. She insisted I considered, but it's still under contemplation. The drill team announced today that it officially struck oil. They said it is not quality crude oil, but politically correct petroleum. They figure with the money they make, they will be able to buy the rights to stomp and take their rightful place on Broadway. In an attempt to create some competition, the Envy High Poetry Club is holding tryouts for their own talent contest called The Whisper. When I asked why it was called The Whisper, Poetry Club President Shirley Yu just replied, because we already have a voice. Currently, the only one to sign up for this competition so far is Eugene Hickey, who will be reciting the words from the 1980 song, A Whisper to a Scream. Well played, Eugene. The situation with Mr. Steinberg's papers being covered in rabies has been resolved, finally. Well, we found out that basically he was trying to order a chemical combination to make potatoes battery abled for certain solar super panels. Which made entirely great sense for our labs that are coming up, but apparently there was a mix up and he got rabies instead. I don't know who orders rabies in a liquid form in which it's contagious, but whoever you were trying to give rabies definitely does not have rabies. They have solution to increase potato power for super solar energy. Use it as you will. The late tube has just been given a new paint job. If all of you are wondering what new color it is, okay, I, I can't tell you, but I know. Before they're going to reveal it, this, okay, just, the color is, well, I don't, I, I can't say it. I don't, I don't want to give it up. Okay, wait, okay, all right. The color is red, guys. It's it's red. They painted the late tube red. Ah, that will make coming late to school so much more awesome. In other news. The word solicitating has been given a new definition here in Night Vale. As most of us use it as the word to describe the selling of souls. The word actually means, for some reason, uh, the selling of items or stuff in places. I, why does that make sense? Oh, Anyway, all signs that say no solicitating will be removed, as we all know the selling of souls is completely okay here in Night Vale. In fact, I think there's a parking going on at the new strip mall. I'm excited. Professionalism is key. If I want audiences, if I want listeners for my radio station, I must be completely professional. Public speaking is not allowed in my family, but when it is, it must be completely professional. So, on this professional note, as you are walking home today, my dear Night Vale students, please think about the ground you walk on. That ground is made out of skin cells and dust and hair from rodents and wonderful, wonderful sunshine, screaming painful sunshine. And underneath that, there's mud and Fossils of cute little birdies and giant prehistoric rats. Wonderful. 
Well, just be careful because there are now speed bumps on some of the roads. Yes, we have added them to stop the speeders of the invisible cars that come down the throughway quite often. Remember that when crossing the street, you use a crosswalk. And if there is a cross guard present, don't look him in the eyes ever. Stare at the ground and keep walking and you will have a safe trip home. Thank you, listeners. And good evening, Night Vale High. Good evening. Night Vale High is just a fan-made spin-off, and I in no way claim the rights to the original Welcome to Night Vale podcast. Cecil Baldwin and Joseph Fink are the original mastermind of brilliant people behind Welcome to Night Vale. And I don't expect to make any profit out of this. Though, as I have stated before, I do have to pay a $10 fee a month to keep this show up on iTunes and Podomatic. If you wish to help me, the poor high schooler I am, donate to me. I would really appreciate it. My Tumblr is nightvalehighpodcast.tumblr.com. There you will find the donation button on the upper left-hand corner. Thanks.